I actually, I just wanted to ask you one thing, kind of going back about, about you learning the, the Kabalevsky, um, you know, for the first time. So like, I'm curious, I'm sure a lot of people would be curious about kind of how you approach learning a, a concerto that you have never seen before. I mean, you know, besides learning the, the music itself, do you do anything in terms of like research, um, you know, researching the, the composer or anything outside of that to help you, to help you kind of embody the piece? Yeah, so f first of all, there's two, two different ways, of course, of learning a new piece. Um, one of them being it's, it's really a modern piece, which has been written just now. And you are maybe one of the first people to ever play it or even being the first person to ever play it. Like maybe it's a commission, maybe it's dedicated to you. That's a very different approach. And this particular case, Kabalevsky, is not a modern piece. This piece exists already since, um, you know, almost 100 years. Uh, less a bit less than that but it's already you can already call it a standard concerto so obviously many people have played it before you and obviously there's many recordings there's videos and so on and it's a piece that i've heard before it's not that i have never heard it i didn't know it i knew it i just had never learned it cellistically speaking so already it's very different when you learn a piece like that because you kind of already know it mm -hmm. uh, you just you just haven't memorized it and you you don't know exactly all the fingerings all the bowings but you do know the music so uh, and I uh, particularly was fascinated by the recording of Daniel Shafran. Shafran is the cellist who this piece was dedicated to by the composer. Mm -hmm. And he's also, in my opinion, maybe the greatest cellist to have ever lived. And so already I had listened to that recording of his and had fallen in love with, with the piece, thanks to him. That already creates a very different approach because you kind of already know the piece, you already have some sort of idea. And then it was mostly about finding my personal approach to it, finding my own fingerings bowings my own sound with the piece and also using the piano to really learn about the harmonies learn what, what happens in the accompaniment but i'm not all the way done yet because the next step would be to actually have a pianist come and play with me because i have not done that yet i have not played it with piano yet that's important also to have a pianist who rehearses with you practices with you so you really get that music you know in your ears and your fingers really get used to it then, of course, studying the score, learning about the composer, as you said, very important also about the circumstances, knowing who it was written for and how it sounded at the premiere is also very interesting. And lucky us, there's the, all available on YouTube, actually. You can listen to the actual premiere of the piece oh, that's with cool. the composer composer conducting and Daniel Schaffan playing the solo part. So that would be the next um, step is to learn it with piano. And then the final step, which is the most important step, which only happens a couple of days before the concert is actually to hearing it with the orchestra for the first time. And it's interesting, but those, those final last days before the concert, usually I make the most progress with the piece just three days before the concert. When you hear it with the orchestra the first time, you realize that some things that you have done don't actually work with orchestra as they work with piano. Some timings don't work the same way. You have to take a bit more time on this bar. You have to play a bit louder, even though it's written piano, you have to play mezzo piano, mezzo forte. All of these little decisions you can only make uh, once you've actually played it with orchestra at the rehearsal so i'm mostly looking forward to that and you have to really be uh, on high alert and learn try to learn the most in those last three days with the orchestra